Hi, this is Spirit Hawk, the Native Magi. In today's Animal Spirit series, we're going to be looking at owl medicine and owl wisdom. Owls represent the mystery of magic, omens, silent wisdom, and vision in the night. Their cycle of power is nocturnal and year-round. No bird has as much myth and mystery surrounding it as the owl. The owl is a symbol of the feminine, the moon, and the night. It's been called the cat with wings. The owl has been worshipped as an idol and hated as the reincarnation of the devil. It's been believed to have great healing powers. Because of its association with the moon, it also has ties to fertility and seduction. For the moon is the arouser of men and owls. The owl is the bird of magic, darkness, prophecy, and wisdom. To the ancient Greeks, the owl was associated with the goddess Athena, and it was a symbol of higher wisdom and guarded the Acropolis. To the early Christian Gnostics, it's associated with Lilith, the first wife of Adam who refused to be submissive. To the Pawnee, it was a symbol of protection. The Ojibwa, it was a symbol of evil and death. To the Pueblo, it was associated with the skeleton man, the god of death, but who also had a spirit of fertility. Owl medicine is symbolically associated with clairvoyance, astral projection, and magic, both black and white. It's said that if you see an owl in the daytime, be aware that you may hear of a death of someone close to you in the near future. Many superstitions and beliefs have come to be associated with the owl. They've been thought of as the reincarnation of the dead. In Wales, the owl has come to be associated with fertility. If heard near a pregnant girl, it indicates an easy birth. The most predominant is that of the owl being able to extract secrets. It was believed in ancient Rome that to place a feather or a part of an owl on a sleeping person would enable you to discover his or her secrets. This is all tied to one of its keynotes, especially when we look at its acute vision and hearing. The owl is a bird of the night, and the night has long been a symbol of the darkness within, a place where humans hide their secrets. The owl has great vision and hearing. They can adjust in an instant from telescopic to microscopic focus and their pupils respond in a fraction of a second to very minute changes in light intensity. The owl's eyes are especially adapted to detect subtle movement. The yellow coloring of the eyes is very symbolic. It makes the eye much more expressive, but hints of the light of the sun alive in the dark of the night. The sun lives through the owl at night. Meditation on this alone will reveal much about the magic of the owl within your life. Contrary to popular belief, the owl can see very well during the daylight. It's just more effective and more accurate and acute at night. Even in the darkest night, with its acute eyesight, an owl can pinpoint the exact location of its prey. Its hearing is just as keen as its eyesight. The ears of the owl are asymmetrical and one ear is usually larger than the other. They're also located in different positions on the head. This enables it to sort out the auditory signals it picks up, facilitating it being able to locate its prey more easily. The barn owl can locate its prey as easily or even easier with its ears than its eyes. It'll swivel its head and rock back and forth to pinpoint noises of prey with great accuracy. It will also make period clicks as a form of echo location. One who works with owl medicine will be able to see and hear what others try to hide. You'll hear what's not being said and you'll see what is hidden or in the shadows. You can detect and pinpoint the subtleties. This can make others uncomfortable because they'll not be able to deceive you about their motives or actions.
Our people have a unique ability to see into the darkness of other people's souls and lives. This vision and hearing capability has metaphysical links to the gifts of clairvoyance and clairaudience. The owl, like hawks and other birds of prey, have a third eyelid. This nictitating eyelid moves from side to side and cleanses the eye, clearing the vision. Again, this symbolizes so much about new vision opening up. It often reflects that you were born perceptive, with the vision of others that you may or may not have recognized or acknowledged. Often those with an owl as a power totem have a unique ability for seeing into the eyes and souls of others. These imaginings, positive and negative, should be trusted. Owls fly silently. The front edge of the wing has a fringe that silences the flight. This also enables the owl to fly slowly and smoothly, facilitating the silent hunt. This silence is something that all with an owl totem should practice. Keep silent and go about your business. Listen. This will bring you the greatest success. It's important to study the individual characteristics of each species of owl, as well as those for all owls in general. This will help you define exactly how the owl is going to affect you in your life. Anytime you cannot find any written owl wisdom or any animal spirit guide wisdom, just research the animal, see how it lives, see how it hunts and eats, see how it mates, and those things will guide you in the direction of how to read that animal spirit. When you study owl medicine, you must also study hawk medicine because hawk and owl are the yin and yang of the raptors. Owl, representing lunar, the feminine, and the nighttime. The hawk, representing sun, the masculine, and the daytime. The most common examples of owls and their daytime hawk equivalents are great horned owls paired with the red-tailed hawk, Barred owl paired with the red-shouldered hawk, screech owl with the kestrels, and short-eared owl with the harrier hawk. When you have owl show up as a totem in your life, keep your eyes open, keep your head on a swivel, listen to what's not being said, and be aware of any secrets that may be told. Owl medicine teaches you all of these things and discernment and how to hunt silently to get what you want in this life. Pay attention and listen. Work silently with the owl and it will bring you great success. Thank you very much for joining me today for our Animal Spirit series, Animal Wisdom, Animal Spirit Guides. I'm Spirit Hawk, the Native Magi. Please look me up on Facebook groups, Native Magi, and the NativeMagi.com. Mewakantanka, bless you in all you do.